Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm uh, Would you like a fantasy dating website? That would be. I bet there is one. There yeah, probably is one. I'm going to Google it. No, no, we're going to start. Put okay. Google down. Yes, there is one. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to close the internet. Right, we're going to start. Yes, that's a good idea. So the first thing I would like you guys to do is basically ex- uh, talk about your characters, and I'm going to tell you individually to to do that. And as much information as you sort of want the other char- people to know about your character. So we will start with Joe. Okay. My name is Mikael. Mikael Dartford. I am a tiefling, so I look like a demon person, basically. Got red skin, bit of a stubble, and two big horns, uh, which is also a bit tinted red. Jet black hair, kind of shabby, down to the shoulders at least. And my eyes are completely, uh, they're black orbs. So you don't, there's no pupil, no nothing. He's about six foot tall. He's wearing full plate, so he looks like he can handle himself in a fight. He's got a red cape, dark red, on, on, uh, on his back. And that's all you can really see about him. So he's also got a symbol around his neck. It looks like it just looks like an R, like like the letter I, lowercase, but it's got you know it's, it's fancy and it's, it's like a Roman, uh, Roman in New Roman or something. <laughs> so that's around his neck. It's a fancy symbol. Yeah. It's probably made out of I don't know metal, not gold. I did not pay enough money to make it. Out <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all you basically see. Personality-wise, he's all about balance. Balance between knowledge, perception, and emotion. So he's probably going to... I'm going to try and play him a bit like Spock. Dem, do you want to go next? Okay, dokes. My character is called Rosebud. And she's an elf. And she's got really scruffy red hair because she just cuts it off and doesn't care. She's pretty hairy. She's not that attractive. She's about six foot three. She's got, like, hairy arms, hairy armpits. She always farts. She doesn't care. She's really, really muscular. And she she wears full scale armor. And the only, like, she's got her father's necklace that she wears. A bit, a bit sentimental. It's, it's also worthless. Yeah, very worthless. <laughs> <laughs> But her father, like, <coughs> gave it to her, so they're sentimental. What um, does it look like? It's, like, a circle with a weird symbol in it. She's pretty brash, and she doesn't really She's like a, a dwarf fuck. trapped in an elf's body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it, yeah. <laughs> it's not a very pretty elf, either. We, no, she's ugly as hell. She's so, ugly elf. It's even worse for elves. <laughs> <laughs> when you say elf, you're you're an elf, not an not an lad, Brian. No. no, she's an elf. So Matt. Okay. So when I describe a character, I want you to picture Indiana Jones. Oh. Right. Harrison Ford. Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> My guy is called uh, Strahd Varys. He is a, a half elf who's 20 years old, and he's like. Five foot seven, so he's about all. Oh. You haven't seen me in real life, but no. he's picture about me height. with an inch on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, and he's about average weight. You can probably tell that he's a cleric of of Ewan, and he wears a uh, scale armor, so he looks like he can handle himself as well in a fight. Uh, he also wields a spear, and he has a necklace, uh, which is also kind of like the shape of an eye, with like hmm. an eye in in the letter. So it's kind of it kind of looks Egyptian. So uh, Harrison Ford with a bit of Egyptian around him. Yeah, Harrison Ford being a bit Egyptian and slightly younger. So like really the would, first you, movie, not like... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something else you probably know about him is you might have heard him asking questions about, like, treasures and artefacts that might be in the area. He seems like a pretty normal guy. Like, he doesn't really talk to people that much, though. He seems, like, uh, fixed with his work and what he does. You got a beard? Nope, he hasn't got a beard. So, I mean, are we literally just picturing young first That's exactly film what I'm picturing Harrison right now. Ford. Sure, young Harrison Ford. With okay. like... oh, oh, he also has an Indiana Jones top... Uh, not top hat? What am I talking about? Indiana <laughs> yeah, Jones top hat. Top hat. <laughs> Indiana Jones top hat. It's Indiana Jones with a top hat on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. There's just going to be no. girls with I love you written on their eyelids as you walk past. <laughs> <laughs> probably. I'd probably be more like that silent type as well. I guess. 
until it comes down. <laughs> it's okay. Until so you're, you look like Indiana Jones, but look, you're nothing like him. No, I'm not like Indiana Jones yeah. at all. I'm not a suave guy that gets all the women. I'm not you James. don't even have a whip. You've just got a spear. No, I have a spear. I know. I didn't have enough money to buy a whip. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to have to come. <laughs> gonna have to go on a quest for that yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if there's like a falling wall or something my hat has to fall off and i'll have to grab it at our second <laughs> <laughs> um, that's it and also if i get a companion at any point i'm gonna call it chewbacca oh my gosh uh, so yeah that's my guy harrison ford you're oh, yeah. trying just you just give me desperate for <laughs> companions every every encounter you're gonna be like can i charisma it Bella's character sounds hairy enough to be Chewbacca. <laughs> hey, she is a beautiful lass. <laughs> That's exactly the opposite of what you've been telling us. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, she is the opposite she's of that. She's beautiful on the inside. That, no, she's not. <laughs> she has a beautiful personality. <laughs> she really doesn't. Okay. She's, she's loyal, woman, so yeah, she you go. She has a good heart, I think. That's the best, Maybe. That's the best way we can describe her. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's she, it. She's yeah. probably hairy as both of you put together. I am yeah. a half elf, so I'm not very hairy at all. And I don't actually. I more often grow spikes than hair. That, <laughs> so, oh my god, shaving must be an issue for you. <laughs> Just you know, like an angle grinder. <laughs> Sparks flying off. This <laughs> morning. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, like a blacksmith just banging on the anvil for you. <laughs> of, I need, I need a hammer. shave. I've got five o'clock horn. <laughs> <laughs> you all have spent a week, basically, in this town. It's called Tradesdale. You are in the town of Tradesdale. You've been there for about a week each. A quick rundown of, uh, I guess, what you guys have been doing. We'll start, Joe. Um, so... You came down into Tradesdale from the Shrine of Inuin, yes? Mm-hmm. Cool. Oh, yeah. High five for the girl. I know. When you said that you followed it, uh, Owen or whatever his name, how do you pronounce her name? But when you said the I, I was like, that's probably Inuin. <laughs> you can be god buddies. We're here for the greater knowledge. And we've got really <laughs> hairy elf. <laughs> yeah. We can, like, study the growth on her. <laughs> she's she's never normal. This. She's just really healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I meant hairy, but I said healthy. Well, she's yeah, healthy. She's it. really healthy. First thing you notice about this elf, she's damn she healthy. Is, she is so <laughs> healthy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, yeah, go on. You came down from the shrine to find adventure and quest and everything exciting. Pretty much. You've spent a, a little bit of a week here. You've noticed there's not really any... What have you been doing in this past week? Have you been looking for venturing leads or... Yeah, basically, I've just spent the week just getting to know the town a little bit, helping out at the shrine all I can, and keeping an ear out for fellow adventurers, because that's what I want. I want to find adventurers and experience the world. Cool. Well, what you learn about this town is it's a merchant town. There's just a lot of people selling lots of different sort of stuff. Because of this sort of thing, it does have a little bit of a thievery problem. It's also on like a sort of like a main road in between the two bigger cities in the um, Hidonian Vale, which is the sort of the vale you're in, Hidonian Vale. A lot of people pass through it, and a lot of most people who live here are predominantly human, but they're not really phased by different races. They see them come and go all the time. Apart from that, I mean, you're looking for adventurers, so is there a particular place you'd be hanging out for that, or are you just sort of going anywhere? Oh, you know where I'd be going. I'd probably <laughs> spend the day in the shrines, and then in the night, just going from inn to inn. Yeah. Maybe, you know, um, drinking water. That looks so scary, because you look like the devil. <laughs> you, like, <laughs> sulking around at night. It's okay, these people are used to devil people. They're not so phased as... If you're in a smaller town, this might scare the hell out of them. Yeah. Holy shit! If I'm surrounded by rednecks in d d world, oh boy. <laughs> that would be the best place to start you off. Yeah. Okay, so you're doing that as well. Matt, yeah. you've come into this town um, because you're looking for treasures. Yep. Yes, so you're probably doing a similar thing, aren't you? Yeah, I'm basically doing the same thing as Joe. Like, in a day, I'm um, working at the shrine 
helping out in it. And at night I'm going in from in as well, asking people about, um, did I have any leads about treasures or stuff like that, so I could take it back to, like, bigger temples of Ewan. Cool, well, I would have buddied up with Matt's character. If yeah, you I was about to say, um, the moment you get to this shrine, uh, it's not really a big temple. In this town, they don't really have, like, a big temple, but they have, like, all these shrines in sort of, like, the same building. Um, and the main one in this town is Avandra, but they do have shrines to um, your god, Iron. They have Earthis and Cord and Pelor. Oh, Pelor. I love Pelor. Pelor Protect. Pelor Protect. <laughs> Radiant the god. light. It's, it's, so you know, the fellow's the god of like the sun yeah. and farming and okay. just yeah. He so, is the good god. So oh. most players go to him for um, divine characters because he is just good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> the happy sunshine god. Pretty much. He is literally happy sunshine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> oh, when you, Mister Mister Short, uh, Stuart, Stuart, yes. Yeah, yeah, you pronounce it right. Yeah. Stuart. Uh, so George, in, how are you spelling that? S J O R D. Stroud. It's like Nord, but with an S in the Stroud. Stroud. Varis. You probably know how to spell Varis. Hang on, I'll type it into Skype. You walk in to where the shrines are, and you see, I guess, a couple of priests. They're all human, except this one that's sort of standing out. There's this giant red guy looking demonic in plate armor. Um, I'm, I'm totally look like I'm also <laughs> praying, and you know. Just keeping the shrine in order. I don't look like I'm eating anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't really do anything. I've seen Tiefens before, and I just really want to help out with the temple. So I, I go to like the guy who looks like he's in charge. Cool. That would be this human priest. Then. Okay. Then, then I go up to him and I ask him, um, do, you, "Do you have anything that needs to be done? I can like provide healing or do other templey things." <laughs> Well, in that case, he'll just sort of give you some chores to do, like... Yep, I'm okay with it. Clean the temple and stuff. Did um, Mikhail want to do anything, or is he just going to... Oh, him? no, yeah, Mikhail's going to do something. half Elf <laughs> walks in with um, an Indiana Jones hat and plate <laughs> armour. He looks like he's ready for adventure. He has... Yeah. He, he oh. does... He does um, have... I've got scale armour, not plate, but yeah. Oh, yeah, scale, sorry. I would probably, you know, finish off my chores and at an opportune time move over to the half Elf Harrison Ford lookalike. Are you one of those teeth things that can, like, uh, tend to smoke? Yes. I'm actually oh, not... That's awesome. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not, I don't even know if that's oh. a thing. I was making that yeah, up. That is, yeah. You can, like, um... Oh, I forgot it is, but you can, like, go three places and you turn into smoke for a second. I think, anyway. I think that's, that's an infernal pack warlock. Yes, but it is definitely infernal pack. No, I'm not, because I'm a paladin. Okay. Of You're good. <laughs> good, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I approach him and ask, what is it that you want to do in this shrine? Well, really, I'm passing the time and uh, working for my god and just helping the people out here. Maybe possibly enlarge this temple at some point, but for now, uh, I'm just passing the time until I can get more information about finding relics and things like that to give back to the larger temples. It seems that our patron wants us to work together because that is exactly my goal. I would like to explore and try and find some relics, try and find any knowledge that has been lost, and just do the work of Iowan herself. So you're not from here, then? I actually come from a library, not too far away from the city. The library is named Dartford. Okay. Yes, but um, I've moved on. Uh, they saw me through my life, and this is my first time leaving them, leaving that library. I, I, would, I was, in fact, trying to find people who share the same goal as me. Then perhaps you are right. Ewan has set you on a path where we both have met and we have the same goal, so I see no reason not to take you. I can perhaps show you the ropes out in this world since you haven't been out much. Absolutely. That is exactly the kind of tutorage that I would need. Okay, very well. From then I just like walk away and oh I don't walk away, I just carry on <laughs> chores. Oh yeah, we okay, like, bye. <laughs> okay then bye oh alright then I don't know, I suppose, well, from then on, we're hanging out for the next week. Yeah. You a big yeah, thumbs yeah. up, and you just put your arms around each other and skip around the town. <laughs> right, yes. You win buddies. Yeah. See you later, buddy. Right. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are having fun being in your buddies. Are you, are you going to become my Chewbacca? <laughs> <laughs> Never know. I might get you out of binds and generally soon. <laughs> 
Rosebud, <laughs> you've had um, a slightly different time being in yeah. the town. You have came to this town because you're just travelling through, picking up contracts as you do. And you, first night, you tended to just sort of fly through this town, really. It got dark, you held up in an inn. However, when, um, after you woke up the next morning, you realised that the window was um, open and your possessions, well, not possessions, but, like, your money that you had on you had been completely taken. Yeah, all gone. And you left you absolutely nothing. You have not a copper piece to your name. No, not a single soul. <laughs> The only thing you have is your scale armour, because you assume that that was a bit too heavy for them to steal. Well, they saw me naked, and I was like, fucking hell. (laughs) Not deal with that. And your great big sword, because again, that's quite heavy. (laughs) Anything heavy, that's, that's pretty much what's been left there. So... You wanted to try to track down the people who have taken some stuff from you. I did. During the week... You discover as well that this town does have a thieving problem and the guards are pretty much like... Fucking useless. There are thieves, <laughs> people get things stolen. Like, oh, God. <laughs> we, <laughs> we don't really know. Did you see anything? No. I was fucking sleepy morons. Uh, and, well, then I, 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 we don't really have any leads. Uh, we'll do our best, but we're not, you know. Just... You'll probably just take care of it yourself and fuck it. Might as well, you know. Guards. Okay, so um, would you what how, what would be your first action? I'm going to be looking around for information on the thieves. On the thieves. Yeah, like if there's a thieves guild or anything like that. Okay. So my first place would be go ask like tavern and ask some questions. So um, you want to go to the tavern, yeah? Yeah. Okay, you can do that. Go to the tavern and start asking questions. I'm stomping uh, around to the tavern then. Don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Scratch me off a bit on the way, because you know. Well, um, in the tavern at this point, I would assume it's day. It's there's there's a couple of patrons just sitting there. There's a barkeep and a, a bar wench sort of running around. I am gonna go over to the barkeep mm-hmm. and ask him if he knows any information on a thieves guild or anything like that. He sort of just sort of looks at you and it's like. Thieves Guild? Well, why would I know anything about that? Try, try, try intimidating. Okay, what do you want to say to intimidate? Tell me whatever you know. Okay, now roll an intimidate check. So pick up, um, you don't have a dice, so we will take you to roll 20 now. I'm okay. going to place my dice on the, the so the natural 20 is facing up. Everyone else has dice, but you, so we will, um, I'm taking it to the map page, so everyone can see the Hedonian Vale in all its glory that I drew. Oh, wow, this map's fucking awesome. What are you talking about? It's amazing. That sounded really sarcastic. No, it's, no, it's not. Know. I'm being serious. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Well, I like it. I like simple like, the, maps. The, the pink squares are towns, and the, the bigger the square, the bigger the town, the city. Uh-huh. The blue squares are sort of like the temples, and yeah. they've got their god symbol crudely drawn on. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, west of trade style is Ewan. Yes. Right is Cord. South is Pelo. Yes. Uh, north is Avandra, I think. Uh, north, east, yes. Oh, north, east is. Uh, what's north, north? <laughs> north. Yeah, like the top one at the top. That symbol is Melora. Okay. Can't see it, but it is a shell with a squiggle. Oh, yeah, I see it now. Well, that makes <laughs> sense for it to be there, actually. Okay. okay, so do I roll? Yeah, do a roll, roll a d20 and add your intimidate Shit. score. What is my intimidate score? I don't think you need to look at your character. Intimidate, seven. Let's roll a d20 and it, the result will come up in chat. Roll a one. <laughs> Eight. Well, a natural one is a critical fail. <laughs> Why is the first roll of every campaign a one? <laughs> I was going to say, I didn't want to say anything, but Gosh. first roll... Of first campaign ever, you're gonna get a natural one. You um, you are trying to intimidate this guy. This guy is clearly not scared by you. He just oh gosh, just thinks you're a bit hideous. He just kind of wants you to <laughs> tavern. To be perfectly honest, he's just like there's no fee skilled. Okay. okay. Get okay. out. Can I go over to the barmaid and try and scare her a bit? No, I mean he's kicking you out. Oh, you have to leave. It's because she's hairy. Okay, she just yeah. she <laughs> walks out. She kicks the table over and she leaves as well. Gone. Clear off. Don't want your yeah, kind. Of she slams the door. Room. Yeah, I don't know what your kind is. 
<laughs> she <laughs> might be an elf. Yeah, probably can't even tell. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, so she just kicks the table over and slams the door and leaves. Well, your luck in this town has pretty much gone this way. Yeah. For the last week. It's not gone particularly well. You've... Where have, have you been trying to earn some money by doing a job, or have you been sleeping on the streets? Trying to earn a bit of money, doing some jobs. It would be anything where she could, like, kill people. <laughs> <laughs> she is a, she's, a, she's a mercenary. Mm. Anything. She's a murderer? Mercenary. <laughs> so, anywhere she can, like, be a bodyguard. So, hired muscle and stuff. Yeah. She just wants to leave this town now, to be honest. She's, just, she's a bit pissed off. You sort of... You, you manage to do that. You find a few odd jobs that you can do, but sort of... It's sort of like paying for board as well, so you're not really gaining money. So, you still have a room in the tavern you're sleeping at, but you're not... It, basically, every job pays for the tavern. Yeah. You haven't gained anything from it apart from you're not sleeping on the street i guess one evening though um you would probably all meet at the tavern the same tavern which is uh, once you got kicked out of or another one this is the one you're staying at okay new taverns this one is called the sparkling raven then the tip tap of notes (laughs) (laughs) yeah (laughs) oh man (laughs) the dm said something better run down (laughs) <laughs> yeah. We're staying at the Sparkling Raven. Does it, that, this tavern have anything to do with um, uh, the Raven Queen? I'm going to be honest. I looked around my room. <laughs> I saw something shiny and a bird. Therefore... <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, no, that's, that's right. I'm just making sure. Yes. You don't sense the Raven Queen's presence in this tavern. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, there's necromancers under this tavern, even though that's... Uh, <laughs> that's the opposite, the opposite of yeah. 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 It's her right off. <laughs> what little I know about her, I don't think she'll like necromancers. No. Who is the one who likes necromancers? Is it Vecna? Yeah. Vecna. Secretly, yeah. it's a tavern for Vecna. Vecna. Pretending. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the best. You should do that. You should also do it. Yeah, let's do that now. <laughs> Forget everything else. Yeah, I'm <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, go on. <laughs> Derailed. So, I, I, it's like sort of the evening, so I assume Rosebud, you'd be having a drink. Yeah. I guess the Iowan buddies, they come in. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, fabulous. I'm asking it. <laughs> hand I'm in up, hand. Uh, <laughs> like linked yeah. arms, like, hey, the whole. <laughs> <laughs> We're here for adventurers. <laughs> <laughs> like, kick down the door. Is there adventure to be found? <laughs> Everyone just sort of goes back, like, pauses for a second, looks at you, and then just turns back to you. Like, is that a spike story? Just happy to see me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I, um, I just go to people and, and do my usual rounds of asking people. I, I don't drink anything. So, so you go up to in turn everyone in this tavern and ask yep. them if they know anything about magical artifacts yep okay well we'll say you get to rosebud before any of the staff i mean she's pretty hard to miss yeah yeah let's, i'll just go to her first so she, and yeah uh, uh, probably shadowing jord 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 yeah jord 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 yes jord take this opportunity and say um he was, like, raised near dwarfs, so that's why his name's kind of dwarvish. Okay. Right. I'll be shadowing Stuart, because I'm following his lead, basically. You're learning how to be an adventurer. Oh, yeah. God. Pick up yes. quests. Okay. Your character so, sounds really adorable. Like, ah, <laughs> oh, I just want to pat you on the head. <laughs> I'm really clueless. You sound <laughs> you should be, like, carrying my books. <laughs> I am your scribe. I'm like, oh my god, this guy's so cool. He's asking people stuff. This is amazing. <laughs> uh, I, well, actually, if you think about it, my character has similarity to... Oh my god, the latest Disney film, Tangled. Because oh, I've, tang- like, I've been in a library for the last 20 odd years of my life, so... <laughs> I am actually so generally... So what you're silly. saying is you're Rapunzel. <laughs> yeah, but with spikes instead of long hair. <laughs> yeah. If you were an elf, that would have been perfect. <laughs> well, actually, oh, yeah. uh, so I, I go up to Rosebud and I, I ask her um, does she know anything about any artifacts or anything uh, she's going to ask you if you have a job offer for her like a muscle or are you going on an adventure because mm. if so I say my, I suppose my eyebrows rise like I'm like adventure oh yeah that sounds 
sounds about right. <laughs> it sounds like you need some muscle or someone to help out on your adventure. And if you're going to pay her, then she's willing to help out. Uh, I tell her yes, basically. And um, by the end of it, if our search for artifacts is successful, not only will um, you receive praise by uh, all like, the churches of Inuin and that. Uh, Why should you the fuck? Yeah, yeah, no, but I'd say it anyway. Uh, but I also say, um, you get paid handsomely. Now that she likes, she like, she'll help out on your puny adventure, looking for stupid shit. That's exactly <laughs> what she says. Well, that stupid shit will see you in gold. Yep, it won't be too, it won't be so stupid then, will it? <laughs> She's, she's going to come on an adventure with you. She'll help ask anyone questions. She can intimidate okay. people if you need it. <laughs> Is that yeah. what she's saying? Yeah. Given her CV. I'll help <laughs> intimidate people, you, and ask questions. If this will make me rich, then I'll help. It will certainly make you rich. And there are some times that muscle is needed over mind, I suppose. We've got to seek all angles of the world, so absolutely. That's, that's true. What is your she name? You, my name's Rosebud, and she gives you a big pat on the back. <laughs> Thank you. Hopefully she doesn't impale herself with a spike or anything. If you smack my back, you sort of connect with my backpack that's underneath my cape. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess same, but I don't have a cape. <laughs> so she, like, pats us on the backpack. Yeah, she's, she's going to pat you on the backpack really hard. Uh, sure. I, also, I also say, um, you look like you've been through hard times lately. Perhaps I should buy you a drink to celebrate us meeting. Yes! She shouts it. Okay. She bangs on the table to call for the car <laughs> keep. <laughs> okay. Mikkel is, uh, like, uh, wide-eyed. Just in, kind of in astonishment of this woman. <laughs> um, I, I, hang on, I turn around and say, Mikkel, do you need anything to drink? Um, absolutely not. No, no, I'm, I'm fine. Very good. When when you bang on this table, um, this um, voluptuous barkeep hobbles over to you, just runs over and sort of stops. Is like, can I help you? Uh, yes. Who is it, madam or a man? Madam. Okay. Yes, madam. I would like a glass of your finest ale or a pictured, I guess. Yeah, let's get pictured. Why not? Let's go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Coming right up, you dearie. She'll, she'll hobble off. Hobble okay. back. I just typed in voluptuous into Google. And <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm seeing lots of large boobs and bums. Yeah. yeah. Um. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maximum volume. Yeah. <laughs> Good job I'm not playing my rogue. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, women. <laughs> it's basically Harrison Ford that's not attracted to this woman. Yeah. Well, she sort of runs back, and um, before she can come back with a drink, you just hear like a loud, angry shout. <laughs> <laughs>